That type of and which wujub al aini, that type of wujub al aini, the scholars they divide it in different types as well. That the wujub al aini specifically, they look at it from many angles. That one itself, there's a type where it's bi atibari shaks, looking at the individual, looking at the individual. Are you with me? For example, depending on the person, depending on the person, it is is the salah wajib al aini. Yeah. It is the wajib al aini to pray the salatul jama'ah. Is it uh, salatul jama'ah? Is it obligatory on every single individual to pray jama'ah? If the conditions are met, yeah, then it's heard. And does it have the person have to go and pray? Yeah. Naam, it does. It is. So, but is it well, obligatory on the women? No. So it differs from people to people. Ah, okay. The second one is called. The second one is called, بِاعْتِبَارِ الْقُدْرَةِ وَالْعَجْزِ. In accordance to what? The second one is called. بإعتبار القدرة والعجز um, واجب العيني which is that depends on what looking at it from the angle of what ability a lack of ability such as what Salatul Muqim the person who is a resident how is the how is the عيني obligatory on him واجب العيني like for example you have to uh, uh, I, do, you, do you have to pray Door, you have to pray door. You have, you have to pray door, right? What about if you're not able to? You get, you see, or you're a traveler, or you're ill. The the wajib al aini, the narrow down specific wajib now has its different ruling for you. That doesn't mean that the specific has gone off you. You're narrowed down individually. You have to pray, but the way you have to pray is different from the rest of the people. You're a traveler now, so you pray as a traveler. Does that make sense? Now, the second type. Of the and the, the person who's doing it, the subject is al kifai, which is opposite. Which is, it is not obligatory on every individual. If some do it, the obligation is taken of the rest. Ah. If everybody on the hand leaves it, if everybody leaves it, who is sinning? Yeah. So listen, an action. And uh, are you all with me? I'm gonna ask you guys a question. A person is praying, Salatul jan Janazah has just been announced. Does everybody have to pray? No. What about if everybody leaves it? Huh? Everyone sins. Wrong. They all soon yin. How can everybody be sinning? What about the woman who's in the house? What about the person who's ill? So you have to say every person who's able to and can. Pay attention, add that to it. Uh, this is called Al Wajib Al Kifai. Are you with me? So you say everyone who is able, فَالْقَادِرِ مِنْهُمْ آثِمٌ The one who is able is, is a sinner. Not every single person is a sinner. And that's common. Huh? Those three that I just mentioned, you guys know it, right? You've heard it from before. Now you don't, you don't know the, the next three. That's why I said in every book we add some additional things that you've probably not studied in your previous lessons. And that's how a knowledge should be taken, bit by bit, gradually. The fourth one is called بِعْتِبَارِ الْمُوْجِبِ مُوْجِبَ The fourth one is that which obligates Look at it from the angle of that which obligated on you. It's called al mujibu. What forced you to? What made it wajib on you? Uh, looking at it, what obligated on you? Does that make sense? It's called bi'atibari al mujibu. Al mujibu. Mujibu means what? What obligated on you? Uh, what obligated on you? And that's two types. That's how many? The first one is al shara. The Sharia forced on you. You didn't choose it to make it obligatory on yourself. Are you with me? Huh? You didn't. The second one is what? Like the salah. Did I force it on myself? Did I make it obligatory on myself? No, the sharia did it. The second one is sharp. Condition. You condition on yourself. You said, oh Allah, if you do this for me, I'll do this. Allah did it for you. You condition on yourself. It became wajib on you. Who forced it on you? You forced it on yourself. And then you conditioned it on yourself. Is it like nether? Are you with me? 
The third one is as sabab. A reason caused it. Third one, I mentioned, sorry, I said two, right? It's three. As sabab, reason. Are you with me? A reason forced it on you. A reason forced it on you. Naam. So, a, a means or a reason forced you. Nobody forced on you at that moment. It's not obligatory on you. Huh? But the, we're going to mention that in details. Um, we're going to come to that on the Sabbath. Put, hold it for me. We don't want to go into it right now into details. We're going to come to it. We're going to come to that one. The fifth one is called بِإِعْتِبَارِ الْمُقَدَّرِ ha. Looking at it from the angle of its limits, its amount, its quantity. Ha. We're looking at the word for its quantity. And that's two types. The one which the first one is that which has been given a specific quantity, specific amount, like the zakat. Are you with me? Ah, it's limited. It's got an amount to it. It's got a figure to it. You can't add it. You can't deduct it. Ah, you're not allowed to. For example, Allah Taala He ordered you to give this in return out, and then you go and you give this out. It's not going to be accepted from you. Ah. The th- second one is what? It's غير muqaddar. It's an obligation, but it's not limited. It's not limited. It can differ from time to time. You can go up and down, like providing for your wife. It's obligatory on you, but the Sharia didn't put a number or a limit to it. So, you with me? It's more open. The last one, which is the sixth one, it's called بِعْتِبَارِ الْمُوَاضَبَةِ عَلَيْهَا It's reoccurrence. The wajib and it's, and, it's, and it's reoccurrence. It's two types. That first one, which is, that which occurs fr- frequently, and that which is, it happens um, uh, not frequently. Does that make sense? And the one that happens frequently is like the salah. It's very frequent. Fasting is frequent. This is hajj is frequent. Correct? They're always timed. They have a timing. They have a, it's frequent. The second one is arif. It just like the kusuf, for example, the eclipse. Uh, or the salatul khawf, the salah fear. Or the salatul janaza. Or salatul istisqa. They only come because of something that happened. They're not something we always, oh, tomorrow there's going to be a janazah. We don't know that. Does that make sense? It's arid. Ah. Now, brothers, pay attention. This is the tricky part. Which is that the wajib, are you all with me? You guys are all thinking this wajib, wajib I didn't know this much about wajib. <laughs> there's a hakam, these are sharia rulings. This is how important usul fiqh is. Ikhwani, there's a point which you have to realize. Something that's not wajib in and within itself. Uh, it's not wajib, but it came wajib, became wajib. Why? Because a wajib could not have been done except without it. Mm. We finish the six types, and this is the qaida which they call ma la yatimul wajib illa bihi fa wajib. Anything that the mandatory act or the ma- mandatory obligatory thing cannot be done except without it, it becomes obligatory. For example, example, tahara. Is it obligatory in and within itself? Do you have to do tahara right now? No. But when does it become obligatory? It becomes obligatory when the salah comes in. Why is it obligatory? Is it obligatory in and within itself? No. It's obligatory because the salah cannot be done. And because the salah cannot be done, then it becomes obligatory for you to pray the salah and to do the tahara. So then they say, anything that the obligatory act, which is the salah, cannot be done without it, it becomes obligatory. For instance, buy yourself a clothes. Are you with me? Are you all with me? A brother Oyan, he's outside. He hasn't, he hasn't got no clothes. He's very, very poor. He has no clothes. Or he has clothes, methylene. Methylene, he has clothes. But he doesn't have, um, he, has a, he doesn't have water. Are you with me? He doesn't have, he does not have water. Our brother Oyan is at a shop, a shop. And he's got money like him. What can he do? He can buy water. He can't find any water. He can go, but the shop sells water and he's got money. And the salah entered. It's obligatory for him to buy the water. You're going to say, get that money out of your pocket and buy yourself that water. But he says, no, who said buy the water is obligatory? Where, where is the evidence for that? We will say, ma la yatimul wajib illa bifa wajib. The salah is obligatory. It requires tahara. You're able, you've got enough money in your pocket. Uh, buy the water. Wadah. It becomes obligatory. That qa'idah now, we're going to, are you with me? Does everyone understand it now? Okay, now, let's understand that point which is very important, okay? It's three types. Ah, uh, wa huwa that principle that I just mentioned is three types. The first one of it is, are you with me? مَا كَانَ فِي قُدْرَةِ الْمُكَلَّفِ 
that which is in the ability of the mukallaf. That which is in the that which is in the ability of the what? The mukallaf, the person who's burdened. Ah. And he's it's in his ability. He's able to do it. And he he's ordered to come with it. He's ordered to come with it. Like Tahara. The Tahara. Are you with me? Are you all with me? Mm-hmm. Such as the Tahara. Is the person is he is he, is he is he is he in his ability? Yeah. Okay. Is he ordered to come with it? Yeah, he's ordered to come with it, but not in a forceful manner. Of course, because it's not wajib what we're talking about. We're talking about mubah. Uh, sorry, we're talking about something that's what? Sunnah. So the fast, so, sorry, so what is, what is the, uh, what is the tahara? Tahara is a sunnah. You got rewarded for doing it. How is the for doing it? Sahih. Okay, are you with me? So it's in the ability, and he's ordered to do it. Why is he ordered? لِأَنَّ الصَّلَاةِ لَا تَصَبِحَ Because the salah is not. So pay attention. That's the first type, like the tahara. We've, we've understood that one. That's the qa'idah. مَا لَا يَتِمُّ الْوَاجِبِ إِلَّا بِي فَوَاجِبِ We've taken that one. There's a second one called. There's a second one. The second one is called مَا كَانَ فِي قُدْرَةِ المكلف. It is in the ability of the person. It is in the ability of the what? The person. Huh? He can bring it. He's able to bring it. He's able to make it happen. But... وَغَيْرَ مَأْمُورٌ بِتَحْصِيلِ But he's not really ordered to come with it. Such as what? Ability for Hajj. Ability. He's not ordered to come with ability. What does that mean? Are you all with me? He, like, the Hajj to come with the ability. He knows that he can Pay off, he knows he can get himself the ability. So in the sense where, he's able to do it. He knows Hajj is going to come. He knows if he gets another additional job, he can get enough money to do Hajj. Are you with me? He's able to do that. We're not going to say, you have to work. You have to go and get that job and you have to start working. You have to work double shifts. You have to do Hajj. No. That one is not like the Tahara where we force him to go and buy the, the water. Does that make sense? He's not ordered, to, ability is never in his condition. He's never ordered to come with the tahara. Uh, sorry, he's never ordered to come with the istata'a, the ability. You know why? You know why? Because the istata'a is ahkam al wata'iyya. Are you with me? It's ahkamu. Ahkamu al wata'iyya. Ha. Because it's a shart. Is istata'a a condition for the hajj to be obligatory on you? Yes. Shart, is it wad'i or is it taklifi? Wad'a. Shart is in ahkam al-wad'iya. We're not forced to come with ahkam al-wad'iya. We're only forced to come with what? Ahkam al-taklifi. Taklifi is what we're burdened on. Ha. And we've done that last lesson. The third type is ma laysa fi qudrat al-mukallaf. The person is not able to bring it. He can't make it happen. It's not in his ability. So of course he's not going to be ordered, would he? <laughs> of course he can't do it. The Sharia doesn't order you for something you can't do. Such as what? Um, such as the person, like the issue of the sun. Uh, to make the door time come in and the door time to leave. And that's not, I can't do that. I can't let make that happen. I can't push the time around. I can't make the sun go here, and I can't make the sun go there. It's not in my ability. It's a condition to my prayer, but I can't come with that condition. I can't come with it. Or making, or what? Um, making myself reach the pu- age of puberty. Again, I can't force myself. So the wajib, brothers, that, that's what we need. Uh, to know that is what falls under the sabab uh, uh, the sabab that we mentioned before that I said I'm going to speak about yeah. is ma la yatimu al-wajib illa bihi fa wajib wallahu a'lam wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala sayyidina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillah